Praise God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. And welcome those joining us from Periscope. God bless you. Hallelujah. You're wonderful. Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm. Say, my father, my father. As I pray this morning, every move of every evil declaration over my life, from today, they are canceled by the blood. I overrule every plan of the devil against me. That was dog for my life. I will not be a victim. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Every projection of the wicked against my mind. Every voice of the wicked over my mind. Is silenced by the blood. Go ahead and begin to pray. Zanda braka dara baba kasa bahaya. Ilebrende rebebeke berebe biya baradiya. Let it be silenced by the blood. Roba baba raba baka baran derebe biya. Erege derebebeke berebe biya baradiye. We silence every accuser. We silence the voice of the devil speaking into my mind, speaking into my destiny. Ragaba zanda raba baba yaba. Erego derebe biya baradiya. Azila mandele berebe 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 biya. Raba baba raba baka baba shanda berebe biya baradiya. Oh, rababa rababa baka barandia. Ele bende le brebe biya barandi. Ere gade rebe brebe brebe ke brebe biya. Ah, rababa rababa baka rababa baka samba. E rodo rababa 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 brebe bi. Zika da ba da ba, zika da ba da rababa ya. Mando rababa rababa ke brebe biya barandia. E rebe brebe brebe ke brebe biya barandia. Ah, rababa rebe ke brebe brebe ke brebe biya. Ah, rababa 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 rebe ke brebe brebe ke brebe biya. E rebe brebe ke brebe brebe ke brebe biya. Rababa 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 Say, oh my heavens. Oh. Okay, shout this prayer loud and clear. Say, in my heavens. Whoopang. Are you ready for that prayer? Amen. There are two folds to this prayer because we see that the blessings, amen, hallelujah, that belong to Daniel. Daniel needed an answer. He was inquiring. He lifted a prophecy for Israel and he began to pray. Hallelujah. And he was in bondage himself. And he began to pray, remind God concerning the promise. He set his heart to do a fast on 21 days. But the Bible says from day one, amen, hallelujah, an angel was sent, answered, and his answers was brought. But hallelujah, but the spirit, the territorial spirit in that region began to hinder Daniel's prayers. Hallelujah. He began to impose the spirit of discouragement and delay. Hallelujah. Only God knows what was going through Daniel's mind. Why is my answers being, can you hear me? Why is my answers behind? Why am I not getting rapid answers? What is going on in the heavens? Hallelujah. And so while all this thoughts was going on, he began to think, he began to phantom, begin to try to understand what was going on in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. But something kept on telling him, don't give up. Keep on, keep on fasting, keep on fasting. Sometimes, you see, when the Lord wants you to fast and to do a particular assignment, amen, he will give you the grace, the ability. Hallelujah. Don't think that sometimes you just get his urge to fast. Sometimes when you feel like, oh, I need to set Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. I need to do this, I need to do that. It's because God is trying to call you to a special uh, visitation. He, he has sent an angel to bring something, but he wants you to be in the spirit. So, just like we saw yesterday, how we begin to read how Daniel, hallelujah, how, uh, how uh, uh, Ezekiel was carried in the spirit. 
Hallelujah. Carried by the hand of God. And he was in the spirit. Hallelujah. Sometimes God will position you. Hallelujah. Give you an appetite for the things of the spirit. To get you engaged. To get you ready. To get you prepared. Hallelujah. To get you. Amen. Hallelujah. To get you ready minded. Because if it comes when you're not ready. Hallelujah. Amen. Divinity has to go back. You have to find somebody who is ready. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You don't want somebody else to steal your blessings. Can you imagine if an angel is coming to your house with a blessing? If an angel is coming to your house with, a, with an encounter? Can you imagine if an angel is coming to your place, your, to, your, to, your, to your household, and all of a sudden you begin to quarrel, all of a sudden you get agitated with your children, you get agitated with your wife, you get agitated with your, with your husband, amen, hallelujah. The angel will stop by that street, and hallelujah. And some people miss this opportunity. Do you know that at this level, when you begin, when you realize something happens, instead of you now to receive this blessing, guess what happens? Hallelujah. You know what happens. Glory to God. What will happen? Amen. So when the angel shows up now and it was it come to your place, but it's now withheld by all kinds of violent spirit or anger or something you are or the angel or some demons, territorial powers they always know when a uh, divine or divine uh, 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 divinity is entering your, your city. Amen. Hallelujah. And so you begin to get provocations. That's why it's always very Important that when you're fasting, you isolate yourself. Amen. Now, in the, in, the, in, the, in the place of Daniel, I must assure you that if Daniel was with the people, if Daniel was in the company of the believers, hallelujah, one way or the other, the devil would have tried to agitate Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, or whatever it is, to irritate Daniel, to provoke him to anger. Hallelujah. But because Daniel was separate, nobody could really get hold of him. And that's what happened to, 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 uh, to Jacob. He, he had to separate himself unto the Lord. Separate himself into the Lord. It's necessary that you separate yourself unto the Lord when you seek the face of God. Sometimes God will send forth a ministry, come and contact the Holy Ghost within you, and you have an inner witness saying, Son, daughter, separate yourself. Quiet yourself, turn off your phone, turn off everything, because I need your attention. In that moment, hallelujah, if when you when you do that same thing, amen, it's because God is, you might think it's just a thought, but God is literally setting you for information. He wants to give you something, but he wants you to be ready. He has washed you and rest, and sometimes you are distracted. So he gives you the grace, just a heavenly grace. And sometimes when you sense this grace, this grace to be focused, this grace to be directed by him, hallelujah, you know something is up. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. So when you sense this thing, hallelujah, you sense, you begin to sense something begin to happen in the realm of the spirit. Amen. That is when you now begin to take charge. Hallelujah. Many of us, amen, hallelujah, many of us, when we get to this place whereby the message of the Lord, be the, or the glory of the Lord becomes strong, sometimes we get distracted. We get, we get distracted and we begin to do other things. No. No, sir. No, ma. Amen. Hallelujah. God is about to visit some of you. Amen. Position yourself and get ready. Hallelujah. So we see. So we see in, the, in this case that this guy continued praying, praying and praying, and very soon he got a breakthrough. Amen. Hallelujah. The very man, uh, the very helper God sent was an angel that brought a message of the good news. Hallelujah. To Daniel. And he began to open his eyes and begin to give him great understanding. Sometimes, amen, hallelujah, so many things of this logistics had to be taken in play. Number one, if this angel was coming, hallelujah, and was released, and it was on the way to Daniel, and Daniel found himself, amen, in, in, in the flesh. Daniel was not in the spirit or in the flesh, and he began to do things that was carnal. Hallelujah. What would have happened to Daniel? Number one, what would have happened to the angel? If the angel, the angel wouldn't have just gone back. If somebody was there worshiping, somebody there was praying, that other than Daniel, what would have taken place? Something else would have taken place. Hallelujah. When worship is going on in your street or when worship is going on in a different vicinity and angels are assigned to you, hallelujah, especially assigned to you, do you think the angels will fold their hands and watch the other Christian in the other house pray or praise and ignore that Christian? Talk to me. What do you think? What do you think? Hallelujah. What do you think? Anybody? They will go join or they will, they will, they will fold their hands? Hallelujah. Amen. So one of the things, one of the unique things is that some of the things that we begin to see now in life is that prophetically, in the name of Jesus. You're going to pray. Hallelujah. One of the things that we're going to be seeing nowadays is that while angels come to your street, and if anyone who is available for worship, anyone who has yielded themselves to the Spirit of God, 
they are attracted, angels are magnetized, amen, to any altar of the Lord, any altar from the Lord, because it decreases, it increases the presence of the glory of the living God. Hallelujah. I pray for you in this season that you will not be met at the wrong time. You will not be in the flesh. Hallelujah. If you are going to be in the flesh, don't spend long much time in the flesh. Being a, if you are going to be in the flesh, come out quickly. Hallelujah. Enter into the spirit. Hallelujah. Because in the spirit is where you have complete dominion, complete authority. Amen. Hallelujah. Complete dominance against the workings of the devil. Can I hear the good hallelujah? Hallelujah. Amen. So we are going to we're going, we're going to focus here and really begin to pray. Hallelujah. Number one to pray as we're going to begin to pray. Say this Lord and clear. See, every now remember this now. There were some powers in the heavens of Daniel. Daniel began to pray, and there was a ruling spirit called Persia, ruling the heavens and began to fight against the angel invading the airspace in Babylon. Hallelujah. But Daniel continued praying until there was a breaking. It was a release. There was a release. Angel Michael was brought to the heavens. Angel Michael was brought to the airspace in, in Babylon. Hallelujah. To resist, to fight, and meant to dislodge the workings of the devil. Get ready for what God is about to do in your life. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Say, wicked powers in my heavens. Oh my goodness, say with aggression. Say, wicked powers in my heavens. Be overthrown by fire. Open your mouth and thunder fire. Rebe de rebe be ge be rebe biya baradia. Iza gadaba rebe ba rebe biya baradia. Every wicked power in my heaven, sir. Rebe de rebe be ge be rebe be ge baradia. Iza gadaba rebe be rebe be ge be rebe biya. Magadaba rebe ba rebe be ge biya baradi. Zene mende le rebe biya. Rebe de rebe be rebe be ge be rebe be rebe biya. Magada rebe be rebe be rebe be ge be rebe biya. Rebe de rebe be rebe biya baradia. Rebe ba rebe be ge be rebe be rebe biya. Alaban de le rebe be rebe be ge be rebe biya. Every wicked power, oh Every blessing in my heaven, sir. I say manifest by fire. I say manifest by fire. Rabba ba rabba ba ga ba rabba ba rabba ba ga ba rebebiya. Zende ba remende rebebebebiya. Zida ba da rabba ba rebebege ba rebebiya. Manda rabba ba rebebebebiya. Izombrende rebebebebege ba rebebiya. Rabba ba rabba ba ga ba rabba ba ya bradiya. Zedebe de rebe be rebe be ge be rebe biya raba ba raba ba raba ba ga bando rebe biya rebe be rebe be ge be rebe biya brandiya raba ba raba ba ga brando izom brande rebe be rebe be ge be rebe biya shanda brada rebe be lebe ya mando lebe biya rega de rebe be rebe biya rebe be ge be rebe biya brandi rebe biya raba ba raba ba ga raba ba raba ba ga raba ba rebe biya rebe be rebe be ge be rebe be rebe bing a raba ba rebe be rebe be rebe biya da power of God rebe be rebe be ge be rebe biya raba Rebe 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 Wipe out every darkness in my heavens. Aragada rababa gaza branderia. Irregada rebebe gebe rebebe abaradia. Rababa rababa gaba rande rebebe. Zele bende lebe rebebe rebebe abaradi. Arababa rebebe gebe rebebe. Rababa rababa gaza brando rebebe. Lo rababa rebebe gebe rebebe. Irrebebe rebebe gebe rebebe. Mando rababa rababa gaba rebebe. Orgo rebebe rebebe gebe rebebe. Rababa la 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 ya. Irregada rebebe rebebe rebebe. Mombrego rebebe rebebe gebe rebebe. Oh rababa rababa gaza brando rebebe. 
Lord, go wipe out every darkness in my heavens. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every covenant of darkness. Every covenant of darkness. Every coven of darkness in my heavens. Please pray this prayer. Please pray this prayer. Listen to me. Some of you don't understand. Some of you don't understand. Amen. The seriousness of what you are, you are declaring today. There is a level of prayer that comes upon you that you begin to pray aggressively. Amen. And as you begin to pray aggressively, hallelujah, the God will want to come and minister, amen, hallelujah, but sometimes the enemy places an umbrella that begins to, it, it wants to rain on you, but an umbrella, an evil umbrella begins to seize that rain from falling on you. And so thereby, it leaves your spirit so dry, it leaves your spirit uh, uh, hungry, thirsty, but it looks like there's something that is wrong, hallelujah. Amen. But I pray for you today that whatever is withholding, whatever is seizing your fire, whatsoever is quenching the authority of God in your life, today must break, must give way in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout hallelujah. Say this loud and clear. Every direct arrow fired against me. Oh, say with aggression. Say every wicked arrow fired against me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. There is a coven of darkness, a department that operates against the heavens. Can I explain? In the demonic realm, hallelujah, when the enemy wants to, I remember some back in Back in the days when I was in, uh, in, in school, uh, two girls came to me and began to confess. Hallelujah. And they said something to me that was very shocking. They said in the demonic, I asked them, how do you communicate? Agents of the devil. They said, well, they communicate through their mind. They don't speak to each other physically. They communicate just by looking at each other. They communicate. Hallelujah. I said, really? That's how they talk. I said, okay. Uh, how do you get up from the bed? Well, their soul comes out from their body. Why their body is still lying down and sleeping? At a particular time, their body is being pulled out, sucked out. Hallelujah. Their soul comes out from their body. Amen. Attracted to a demonic place. Amen. And at a particular time, they said they were so scared because a schedule was made for them to attack me. And so while they were watching across, amen, they monitored me. Amen. They monitored me and they saw me coming, uh, going to my place, going to my room from the hostel, the campus. 
and they were wondering if I was going to pray. Hallelujah. And if I was going to pray, they were praying that I don't get, uh, that, that, you know, these two girls knew me, so they were praying for me, uh, which were my spiritual daughters. But there were other ones who were, who were hoping and believing, hallelujah, that I just go to bed. It make it easy for the attack. And so while this was happening, they saw I just went to bed, I was tired, and just went to bed. And they were watching all this in their demonic mirror, in the demonic uh, cover. Hallelujah. But house, she, she, she also said that they were different of my friends who demonic agents divided themselves to go attack. And so sometimes they would come to them, they would come to them and the, the enemy prevailed because there was no protection. So whereas when it came to me, there was some strange hand that was resisting them. Strange hand. There was something that they, 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 they stretched forth their hands to come close to me. But there was a force that was pushing them away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he said probably the, 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 the glory that I had that was around me was the spirit of love. It was a strong vibration of love that was we, that was resisting them. Hallelujah. Amen. So I began to inquire more questions upon them. And I said, you know, by the way. And then one of them said, said to me, he said, listen, your friend, um, your friend had a dream about her sister, his sister and somebody else was attacking him in the dream. He said, listen to me, that wasn't her sister. They used her face. That was this lady who was a witch in the school. They used her face. They used his face. I mean, they used his sister's face. Are you hearing me? And she began to disclose some things that are serious. Now, this guy had no clue about the dream. I mean, this, these people, I mean, we didn't tell them, you know, these are junior girls, you know. They didn't, they didn't, um, we didn't relate or announce the dream about, this is my friend. How did they know? Amen. How did they know? Now, when the enemy wants to change your dream life, when the enemy wants to invade your headspace, what happens? I've realized that sometimes you can be two or three people in the room. Amen. And back in the school, in the campus, when I still my Christian brothers were all together, sometimes one person will have a particular dream from God. And guess what? Two or three people will have almost similar message together. Why? Because when an angel comes and he brings a message, it affects everyone around. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When the devil wants to attack you too, also too, sometimes it can be one person. Sometimes it, 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 it's like a shadow of evil. When a, a, a personality, an evil personality or a dissembled body appears in the room, those who are around, who are sleeping, might feel the effect. Amen. Some might get the whole shadow. Some of them might get the whole covering of the devil. Some might get some some stuff. Glory to God. I don't know who is moving and preparing. Glory to God. Oh my. This is my phone. I didn't even charge any of my phones. So some of you have to bear with me. I didn't charge any of my phones. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my earpiece. Wow, 5%. Okay. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, as we know, we begin to see some things that are beginning to happen. Hallelujah. Oh, man. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. And so, as I was saying, amen. Hallelujah. So, in, in, in the prayers we're going to pray is because of your heavens. Amen. Your heavens. Your heavens. Your heavens. When the enemy wants to stop you from dreaming, he comes into your dream life or comes into your heavens. Amen. And places something over your head, over your radar. Blocks your radar from receiving something from God. Amen. Hallelujah. I remember also too when I was, um, it was a prophetic meeting to receive something from God. And it was a major prophet that came out of town to visit uh, the ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. And it was a conference. So every ministry, everybody got ready, prepared themselves to receive something special from God. Hallelujah. I positioned myself too. But the moment I came down, I remember somebody who I don't even know connected with me and wanted to be with me or sit with me. But I realized that the, the more the person sat with me, I realized that it blocked my focus. It blocked my sensitivity. It was like there was a veil, a demonic veil that was upon me. Now remember this, now Lot was with Abraham. As long as Lot was with Abraham, Abraham could not receive anything from God. Hallelujah. He received partial, partial stuff. But after Abraham, Lot left, I would depart it. The Bible says, God said to Abraham, lift up your eyes. Amen. Hallelujah. Count the number of the stars. Hallelujah. Sometimes, 
people can, can, can because of the forces and the foundation around people, when they come around you, they can block this, this, this spiritual veil. They can block the ability for you to hear from God. Hallelujah. Amen. Because people, people have not been set free. Hallelujah. So one of the things I want to say to you sometimes too, uh, some people who are married, husband, wives, and the rest. That is why sometimes you need to be going to thorough repentance for your spouse. Because you don't even know where they go, what they do, and the rest. It can block your fire, can block your hunger, can block your spiritual grace. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So here is what happened. When the enemy enters into your heavens, he can block your radar for, for, from you seeing in the realm of the spirit. What are the radars in your spirit? What are the radars that are connected to your body? Number one, your spiritual eyes. Number two, your spiritual ears. Hallelujah. Your spiritual ears. Jesus says, I see and do what my father does. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything that the Lord teaches him, he does. He does. He does. Glory to God. So whatever. So we're gonna we're gonna so what we're gonna pray today is every coven. Say this after me. Say every witchcraft coven. Every satanic coven operating in my heavens. We're going to pray with that authority. The Bible says Jehu came and was anointed, given, anointed by the spirit of Elijah and was warned that the moment you anoint him, run. Because the oil upon his life is very, very fast. You see, the Bible says that this guy, Jehu, began to run like a crazy man. He ran like a crazy man. Hallelujah. He was a wild man when the oil came upon him. Hallelujah. And the Bible says he casted out Jezebel before the dogs. Casted out. So you're going to pray today and you're going to shout. Hallelujah. Every coven of darkness operating in my heavens. Every coven of darkness operating in my heavens. I cast you out by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. I cast you out from my heavens by fire. Open your mouth and thunder fire. Every wickedness in my heaven, sir. Every wickedness operating in my heaven, sir. I shake you up by fire. I cast you out by fire. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Who was in the heavens of Daniel? Who? Of Persia, the enemy of Daniel. And who was in, who was the other person? 
the, the helper sent to fulfill, to bring the answers of Elijah. You are going to pray. You are going to pray. <laughs> Say, my blessings in the heavens. Manifest by fire. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Praise God. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia. Alleluia, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia, you are a mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are a mighty God. The great I am. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are a mighty God. The great I am. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Alleluia. Alleluia. Mande Rebecca Sanda Baha. Zidi Bibi Abarandosh. Wow. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Rabba Baba Baba Kashande Rebebi Abarandos. Zide Bede Rebebe Rebebi Abarandos. Rebebios. Rabba Baba Baba Kabarando Rebebi Abarandos. Rebebios. Zede Bede Rebebi Abaradi Abarandos. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Zigada Rababa Rebebi Abarande Rebebios. Amen. What a God we serve. You are the mighty God, the Rose of Sharon, the El Shaddai, the Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I don't know if you can hear me, bro. Can you hear me well? Hallelujah. My phone died. Sorry. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Here is a thing we gotta do. Hallelujah. So this next prayer we're going to pray. Glory be to the living God. <laughs> you are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia, you are a mighty God, the great are you, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Say this loud and clear. Hmm. 
<laughs> I say, every, say wicked powers. <laughs> Conspiring against Jerusalem. My father, my father, as I begin to pray, roar against the enemies of Jerusalem. Roar like a lion. Are you, do you understand the prayer? Roar against the enemies of Jerusalem. Can you shout it loud and clear? Say, my father, my father. As I begin to pray. Roar over the city of Jerusalem. And scatter your enemies asunder. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Regede rebebe kabaradia. Irregede rebebe kabaradia. Araba barebebe kabarebebia. Arise over Jerusalem. My father, my father, roar over the land and establish your peace. Irregede rebebe kabaradia. Ilabranda rebebe kabaradia. Regede rebebia. Rebebe rebebe kabarebebe rebebia. Raba baraba baka baraba barebebia. Irregede rebebe rebebia bradia. Azagadaba. Ilagede rebebe rebebe kabarebebia. Rebebe rebebe kabar. In Jesus' name we pray. Enemies parading the holy city of Jerusalem. Enemies parading. Do you understand the prayer, everyone? Enemies parading the city of Jerusalem. Can you, is, is it clear? Enemies parading the city of Jerusalem. Say scatter by fire. Okay. Enemies united to destroy the city of Jerusalem. Every enemy united against Jerusalem. I say scatter. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, I will pour upon the house of David the spirit of grace and of supplication. Hallelujah. The spirit of grace and of supplication. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say, by the power of God, sweep over Jerusalem. Open your mouth and fire prayer. By the power of God, sweep over Jerusalem. The power of God sweep over the city of Jerusalem. Shadabaraka sadabara da rabakataba 
E labanta labantele bebe apai. Rege de ribebio. Shanda bara babayas. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Zugada balabaya. Rege de ribebe ribebe ke ribebe abradi. Robo 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 go brando ribebia. Jada bara baba ribebe ke ribebe abradia. Jada bara baba ribebe ke ribebe abradia. Zanda daba zanda daba liban de ribebia. Rege de ribebe ribebe ke ribebia. Zedebe de ribebe apa. Shande braka zumbra daras. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. E kata bando rababa rebebia. Zumbre de rebebe rebebia baradin. Zili bibia pa. Zili bibia paradia. Rodo rababa rebebe kebe rebebia. Manga da rababa rebebe rebebia brandish. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. We give you the praise and the glory. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. Glory to God. We bless God. We bless God for what he's doing in our lives. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, when, when I lifted up that prayer, the Lord, I, 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 I looked at, my, at, my, at the door, the door of the office, and I saw a placard. Somebody say placard. Mm. Mm. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? All right. Okay. And I looked at the door and I saw a placard. The placard says, pray for Jerusalem. Pray for Jerusalem. You're going to pray and shout it. Shout this uh, prayer with the authority of uh, Ezekiel. The Bible says, can these bones leave? And he prophesied, as a prophesied, bone came to bone. And there was a mighty army that arose. Hallelujah. You will pray. Say, mighty army of God. Dwelling in the city of Jerusalem. Arise by fire. Arise by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Mighty army. Arise by fire. Arise by fire. Intercessors, arise by fire. Melebrende rebe berebebia, raga da raba berebebegebia, erega da rebe berebebegebia, araba baraba baga baraba baraba baga berebebia, erebe berebebegebrebebebia, mambla da raba berebebegebrebebia, erebe berebebegebrebebebebia, raba baraba baga baraba berebebia, arada raba baraba berebebegebrebebia, arebe berebebegebrebebegebrebebia. Arise by fire, lebando robo bosh, zedebe da rebebia brandia. Arise by fire, arise by fire. Rabba baba baba rabba baba barandia. Erega de rebe berebebia. Oh rabba baba baba barandia. Zele bandele berebebia barandia. Robo berebebegebia. Arada rebe berebebega berebebia barandi. Arada rebe berebebega berebebia. Arada rabba baba rebe berebebia barandurebia. Erega de rebe berebing. Arabba baya. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Are you ready for, for fire today? Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, every satanic opposition, every stronghold of delay, put in place to silence me. Be scattered by fire. Every stronghold of delay put in place to silence me. Hallelujah. Every stronghold of delay put in place to silence me. Put in place to paralyze me. Put in place to destroy me. When a spirit of delay has been released, it hinders your call, it hinders your assignment, it hinders the 
progress of God. It doesn't make God happy. Even when you die early, God questions you and says, what do you do with the call I gave to you? You become a failure. But when you fulfill everything God has asked you to do, it's like a father giving a money to a child and says, go run. I've given the provision. Go and get me a bread. And the child begins to do other things, get distracted, and the child really gets back to the father. And somehow robbers came, captured him or shot him, and he's dead. And he gets and the news gets to his father. What would the father do? Bury him. But the father will feel upset, right? But there was a certain people, the father will say, Go and buy bread. Go and buy this. He goes there, go buy it, and comes back. And the father is pleased. Hallelujah. And that is how destinies are. God has given us something on the earth. He has given us something and given us the mantle, the tool, amen, the provision that has been made available to fulfill that task. So, but before, sometimes we, 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 we know what God has asked us to do. Sometimes we don't even know. And so we do other things that God has not asked us to do. And so, so, so thereby, just because we can't hear God clearly, we can't see God clearly, hallelujah, we begin to do other things that God didn't ask us to do. If God is saying you should be a doctor, you want to go be a nurse, hallelujah. Amen. You know, it can be it can, it can be terrifying. Hallelujah. Because God wants to use whatever he's asking you to do, amen, to save humanity. And so because we don't hear, and there's so much confusing spirit, because the spirit of delay poses, poses uh, because the spirit of uh, the, 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 the structure of the, uh, has been put in place to delay us, to hinder us from our direction, hallelujah, before we know it, amen, we begin to find a way out, something that is easy forgetting to understand that we are all this earth based on the instructions of god hallelujah that's why you're going to pray this prayer loud and clear see every structure of delay every structure put in place to silence me be demolished by fire Go ahead and begin to pray. Ragazaba, Rababa, Rebebia, Baradia, Isogodor, Rebebe, Rebebia, Egarada, Rababa, 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 Gabaria, every structure put in place. Regate, Rebebe, 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 Gabaradia, Rebebe, 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 Gabaradia, Regate, Rebebe, 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 Ragada, Rababa, Rababa, Gabaraba, Rababa, Gabarabia, Baradia, I say scatter by fire. Elada, Rababa, Rebebe, 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 Gabaria, Rebebe, 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 in Jesus name we pray every property of death shout it loud and clear everybody every property of death buried in my body Waiting to manifest. Be uprooted by fire. Every baradia, every weapon, every instrument, every spirit, every seed of death. Be uprooted by fire. Be uprooted by fire. And pull out every seed of the wicked. Ragaza, Ragada, in the name of Jesus, Salabande le bantele beme kapala baya, rebebia baradosh. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hmm. Glory to God. There are demonic horns that we need to confront. There are demonic horns. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 17. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 17. Hallelujah. Blessings to your holy name. What a God we serve.
Hallelujah, Zika Brando Zibrande Lebos Suzavade Yastis. What a God we serve. We thank God for His love and for His glory. Thank God for His authority. Thank God, Father, for Your power and for Your presence. Holy Spirit, be thou exalted. Help us, O God, to grasp that which You want us to grasp. Help us to understand Your revelation. Help us to understand, O God, and minister to us, O God, in a powerful and mighty way. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's about to manifest. It's about to manifest. The blessings that God has for you in this season, you've been waiting and waiting and waiting, wondering when will this happen. I have good news for you. The storm you are facing will qualify you for the blessing that is about to be released. You should understand that when the Prince of Persia began to fight Daniel's angel, do you know that probably other assistant angels to the ranking of the Prince of Persia would have understood that this angel was bringing their blessing to Daniel and they need to increase the warfare? Do you know what would have been going on in the mind of Daniel to go eat? Do you know what would have been going on in his thoughts? Do you know what would have been going on around him who would to be used as a vessel to attack Daniel? Hallelujah. We must pray. We must pray. We get into that place that is very, very necessary um, because what we, we are in a season now that what is happening in Jerusalem is what is happening to many of us whereby the enemy is launching all kinds of warfare and attacks. Hallelujah. But at the end of it, God will prevail. God will prevail. Though it may tarry, but it will surely, surely come to pass. Zechariah chapter 1. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I read from verse, verse, I read from verse nine okay let me just go further okay all right i read from verse eight i saw by night and behold a man riding upon a red horse he stood among the myth trees and there we are in the bottom and behold and behind him were there red horses speckled and white then said i lord oh lord oh my lord what are these and the angel that talked with me said unto me I will show thee what these be. And the angel that stood among the mid trees answered and said, These are they whom the Lord had sent to walk to and fro through the earth. And they answered, the, they, and, they, and they answered, and the angel of the Lord that stood among the mid trees said, We have walked to and fro through the earth. Behold, all the earth seated still, all the earth seated still, hallelujah, and is at rest. And then the angel of the Lord answered and said, O Lord of hosts, how long will thou not will thou not have mercy on Jerusalem and on the cities of Judah against that against which thou hast had indignations against these trees called ten years? And the Lord answered, and the angel talked with me with good works and comfortable words. So the angel that communed with me said unto me, Cry thou, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts. I am jealous for Jerusalem and for Zion and for Zion with a great jealousy. Hallelujah. Jerusalem, territorial, Zion, the body of Christ. I am so displeased, dis displeased with the heathen that are at ease for I was but a little displeased and they helped forward the affliction. Therefore, thus says the Lord, I am returned to Jerusalem with mercies. My house shall be built in it, says the Lord. A line shall be stretched forth upon Jerusalem. Cry yet, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, My cities through prosperity shall spread abroad, and the Lord shall comfort Zion, and shall choose Jerusalem. He is choosing Jerusalem now. He has chosen Jerusalem as the capital. 
what is happening in Jerusalem is an evidence that he has picked you out. What is happening in Jerusalem is an evidence that you are now among those that you have been picked out, selected. Hallelujah. So when you look into that city, that holy city, it's a roadmap. That's a thermometer or thermostat, if you will. That is what triggers the body of Christ. If you want to look, if you want to be this redesigned as those are the sons of Issachar, reading their signs, you want to understand and look at Jerusalem and understand what is going on. A political prophet. God raised a political prophet like Donald Trump. And the devil too has his own political prophet too. That's going to be the Antichrist. It's not yet revealed yet. But the Pope is the false prophet. The political false prophet is about to be revealed. The political one. Other than Trump. Trump is of the Lord. And through him, God has chosen Jerusalem. He did some things that many other people, many leaders have never done. He made a decision that many leaders tend to ignore. And so we see in this scripture, he says what? Hallelujah. He says what? Thus says the Lord, I am returned to Jerusalem with mercies. My house shall be built in it, says the Lord of hosts. A line stretched forth upon Jerusalem. Cry saying, Thus says the Lord. He said, Prophesy. My city's true prosperity shall yet spread abroad. And the Lord shall yet come forth Zion and shall yet choose Jerusalem. Why is it now that God has to choose Jerusalem? Among all the contention, he chose Jerusalem, he picked Jerusalem. You know why? Jerusalem seems like it has no identity. It was a holy city, but yet to be recognized. And finally, it's now recognized as the capital. You are about to be recognized as the cornerstone. From all the battles you've been going through, God is about to recognize you, corner you, to be the major one in your family. Hallelujah. You are about to be the pillar. In Africa, they call the college tree called the Roko tree. The major pillar in the family. God is about to shoot you out. God is about to cause you to erupt in great grace. Listen to me. Before the end of this year, there are many of his saints that have been roaming around prophecies has been hanging on their head but there were powers that was denying what are these powers there are powers that was refusing god from choosing jerusalem the united nations all of them were voting all of them were revolting against donald trump choosing that god will raise a leader god will raise a prophet and i tell you that in this season he have, you are picked out whether the devil likes it or not Prophecies has been declared over you that you're the next. That God will use you to restore the bridge. You'll be a, a restorer of the bridge. The man that releases the wealth and the blessings. The man that has the Joseph anointing. You know you carry that prophecy. You know that what you are doing now is below what you know that you're going to be supposed to do. And you'll be facing all kinds of oppositions. Resistance. Even in the church. You've been greatly resisted. Pastors tell you to sit down here, sit down here. Because they feel that you are bragging and you're not anointed. You call for it. Hear me well. Your season has come. If God is choosing Jerusalem now, you are the one that is being picked out, chosen for something unique. Hallelujah. You are about to see God lift you up. Lift you up. But remember this. Shortly before the major lifting, as he lifts you up, as God chose Joseph and put a coat of many colors, Joseph was 
exposed to the enemy. The enemy's true intentions was revealed. As God begins to exalt you in this season, you'll begin to see that once your announcement for promotion comes, once the declaration for your promotion comes, you will see the true intentions of your enemies begin to come forth. They will begin to show their real hatred and agitation. What we see in Jerusalem, the explosion and the, the, the enemies invading and the rage of the enemy is the jealousy. God is going to make you a jewel. But remember this. When you go into the scriptures, it says what? Then I lifted up my eyes and I saw four horns. Four horns? Four horns? Four horns? Doing what? Well, for you to stand on a the table, there's always like four legs of the table. Talking about establishment, networking. Why these four horns? To resist, to oppose, to stand against the coming prophetic word. Resisting the establishment and the profiting, the increase. God is, is making, God wants to see his church grow. God wants to finish his work in your life. God wants to increase you and build you up. Hallelujah. But the devil wants to fight. When God began to single out Daniel, if you study the book of Daniel, chapter 1 and 2 or 3, you will think that Daniel will begin to emerge in success and will never have challenge. Because the first problem he solved for the king cost, when he was not promoted, cost the magicians and those wise men around the king to begin to conspire against Daniel. Many of them begin to look for the downfall of Daniel. And so we saw they began to dig pit for them. They were thrown into the fiery furnace. Daniel was thrown within the lions. And you wonder, when is this going to come to an end? These were the guys that tried to save the empire. All of you that have been dead. But what happened? Daniel began to pray. Every time God wants to crown you, or God declares your crown, coron coronation, or God declares your elevation, don't think it's going to be fun fair. It's the time to pray. Hallelujah. Time to really pray. To strengthen your cause in prayer. Before a major lifting comes, the enemy will throw all kinds of darts, all kinds of confusion to take place. You are a different person. You are a different being. Hallelujah. So when we look at this scripture, we begin to understand. Hallelujah. That shortly before God will elevate, and of course, every time, for every trial that Daniel went through, he was elevated. Every problem that was created in the palace, God elevated him. Hallelujah. And he, and, and, and he asked the angel that talked with me, what be these? And he said, these are the horns which have scattered Judah. Israel, Jerusalem, so that no man did lift up his head. Verse 21, Then said I, What come these to do? And he spake and say, These are the horns which have scattered Judah. He specifically said Judah. Judah means praise. The thing that causes you to testify. The thing that causes you to be joyful in the Lord. The thing that makes you happy all the time. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord of Sibran de Bibia Paras. The thing that makes you very, very excited. Hallelujah. The thing that really makes you, oh my goodness. But the enemy try to wipe that out. The enemy try to to these four horns. And so that's what we are seeing now. Instead of the Israeli, Israeli to be celebrating, the celebration was temporal. Very temporal. And so we see now everybody begin to shoot fire, rockets coming into from Gaza all the way to Jerusalem to disrupt the celebration. Making it very, creating all kinds of unrest in the city. Are you serious? I thought you just got recognized. No, you just, you just arose the devil, the enemy. I thought you just got decorated with the color, coat of many colors. No. Once you are announced, you must guard your ground down because now the enemy will come after you with all kinds of rage. They can't revoke it, but the enemy now is fighting. 
is fighting. God is choosing Jerusalem, but now is scattering the praise. Jerus he didn't say Jerusalem here. He said Judah. Because for you to get to Jerusalem, you must go through Judah. If your heads are down, you become discouraged. If your heads are down, you retreat. If your heads are down, you become depressed. And this doesn't bring glory to God. God wants you to exercise your complete dominion. Your line, your like authority. Hallelujah. So that's why you see Joshua and Caleb. Many of them who says, oh, there are giants before us. God disqualified them from entering. Including Moses. And there are those who said we are, we are able to take over the land. God listened. He listened to their words. He gave Joshua and Caleb the grace to go forward. If you realize, Joshua was not so capable. But God himself had to speak the word. Be courageous. Be strong and be courageous. Be strong and be courageous. Be strong and be courageous. He read it close to three times to Joshua. Why? To receive the courage because these were Nephilims. This was not human beings as per se. These were Nephilims. Giant beings. It means the size of your enemies this time is the size of your blessings. The size of your enemies the time is the size of your blessings. You go to a place, big giants that can take your wife and rape your children. These were the ones that Joshua had to confront. He had to believe God. He had no mentor. He had to believe God. Be strong and be courageous. Be strong. Paul cried unto God. This is so painful. Take this tongue from my flesh. Cried and fasted. And God said, My grace is sufficient for you. My grace is sufficient for you. Joshua was probably weeping, crying. Crying for Moses. Oh God, I cannot believe that Moses was denied. Are you serious? But I thought you were going to take all of us there. What did Moses do? And now you want me to take over Israel? These guys who were so stubborn made Moses not to cross to the promised land. And now you want me to go, go ahead? Moses who cried out, blots my name, if it's possible, from the book of life. And now he wasn't able to make it. God, are you going to destroy me as you destroy Moses? I don't think so. And he was crying and crying and crying. Did Moses that heard the audible voice of God? That shook the mountain? And God said, be strong and be courageous. So when the first guys saw the enemies occupying the land flowing, make an honey, they were scared. These, what kind of beings are these? We've never seen these kind of beings. Huge beings, not, not human beings. These are twice or three times taller human beings. We've never seen this before. God did show us in our vision. You didn't prepare us for this battle. What is this? <laughs> he said, he said we, <laughs> we are grasshoppers before them. And they were, that was the truth. They were grasshoppers before them. But when Joshua went there, they brought back a report. It means every challenge we get, you must have a different perception of how you see your challenge. If your challenge becomes a serious mountain before you and you profess, you declare it, that is a mountain, so shall it be before you. But if you see that mountain as a small 
problem before God. It makes God feel so proud. It makes God feel like against all odds I have to manifest. Remember this. They belittled the king of Babylon. And they said, whether God will hear us or not, we're not able to bow before you. They belittled him. And they magnified God. Every time you magnify God within your problems, your problems vanishes. Every time you magnify God, either in worship, either through your words, God establishes himself and his dominion in your life. The more you magnify him, the more he magnifies himself and manifests himself in your life. But when you don't magnify God, when you look at your problem and your mountain and you say, oh my gosh, oh my, you begin to murmur. That's what happened. The Israelites, they saw the ocean, the Red Sea. They began to murmur. They looked back, they saw the enemies coming. They began to murmur. They were afraid. What do you expect them to do? Start praising God. God, you are the bigger. You are bigger. In the natural sense, it looks like we are lying. When there is no faith. Natural sense, it looks like, why are you lying? The truth of the matter is, we are scared. That's the truth. But God wanted them to change the way they speak. To confront your, your horns. Change the way you say things. Don't say there are giants before us. Our enemies are coming. No. God, you are the best. You are the greater. You are the God. These are small babies before them. That's what David said to Goliath. Remember that? Am I a dog that you you bring these stones to me? I, God, but David began to say, I come against you in the name of the Lord God. You must magnify him. When you see a challenge, magnify God before your challenge. And in the name of Jesus, every challenge around your life will bow to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we begin to understand that these four horns, amen, radically began to resist. These four horns were so deadly. These four horns began to scatter. These four horns began to destabilize the children of Israel. They began to remove praise and cause them to begin to murmur and begin to gossip and begin to get angry. Because when you are frustrated, you don't follow your leader anymore. When you are frustrated, you begin to talk anyhow and talk in the flesh. You begin to talk out of ingratitude. You begin to feel small on the inside. You must appreciate God in everything that we do. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. True prosperity. And then look at what it says. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. Four carpenters. Four carpenters. Verse 21. Then I said, What is come? He says, Speak. I said, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. But these are come to free them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles. So God sent four carpenters to represent the four horns. For every curse in your life, God will send a blessing. Are you hearing me? For every enemy, God will send a helper. For every demon that has been sent against you, God will send an angel in your life. That sickness will not kill you. Are you hearing me? That sickness and disease will not kill you. You may think that your pocket is drying up, but there is, a, there is money coming in this Christmas. You're going to sing, you're going to laugh. God will put praise in your mouth. The, the horns of the wicked that has been placed, put in place to silence you, to cause you to look down, today will be broken and be shattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Ghost. My time is up. Hallelujah. I pray for you today that even as God is... I saw a, a, a clip today why a bullet or a weapon or a bomb or a rocket was released on somebody's truck and the truck did not explode and that was god i don't know how they're gonna take that out god prevented it there's some mighty signs happening in that place 
as that is happening i'm telling you angels are moving and interrupting all kinds of rockets being released you expect that the rockets will go to the holy sites but they are angels diverting those rockets hallelujah lift your hands wherever you are and say i declare peace in my house i declare peace over my mind i declare peace over my children i declare peace over my spouse i declare peace even in my job i declare peace everywhere i go i declare peace over jerusalem let your peace rest upon us let your peace rest upon us in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Blessings to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for those who are just joining us and those who, I mean, hallelujah, it's a privilege. It's a blessing to bring the word of the Lord here. Hallelujah. But you must understand that God is about to do something in your life. This scripture has been fulfilled, Zechariah chapter 1. And we begin to move on. This is the book of Zechariah. It's very efficient nowadays. Hallelujah. Just to, just to recap on what we discussed. Amen. He said what? Verse 17. Cry is saying, thus says the Lord of hosts, my city's true prosperity shall yet be spread abroad, and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion, and shall choose Jerusalem. Now, physically, Jerusalem, which was an, is, which is a holy city, but was never made a cap, the, the cornerstone. Everyone went to, to Israel because of Jerusalem. Now, has not been made a cap, the, the capstone. God is about to pick you out. God is about to single you out. God is about to elect and select you. God is about to make you a gene before the nations and the moment israel was declared the capital what happened you think that the enemy will not relax no the moment god declared joseph you are the man of the family you are the rock the gibraltar of the family all hell broke loose once the devil recognizes that you are the prophetic seed he will come after you. Don't think it's going to be fun play. It's the time to prepare and to war. War the word of God. There was a time that Joseph had to war and be in prayer. And but there was a time he had to rest. There was a time he had to rule. And that time is coming. The time is coming. When the enemies were humbled. Some of you will be put in that place. Just because somebody declares it's your time of promotion, you will think that everybody will not respect you. No. You will begin to receive all kinds of hatred. The true intentions of man will be revealed about you. Once God begins to exalt you, everybody will begin to get angry. And that's what's happening now. God has chosen Jerusalem. But now, we see, if you read again, it says, What well, then I lifted up my eyes, verse 18. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 18. Then I lifted up my eyes and saw four horns. Amen. He said, What? He said, What are these horns? Verse 21. He said, what come these to do? He said, he spake saying, these are the horns which have come to scatter Judah. They have been praising God. They've been testifying. They've been jubilating, making us the capital city. But now I saw four horns. All the nations coming together, the Arab nations. They want to scatter them from even testifying. Turn their joy to sorrow. Can you imagine sleeping, wondering whether there's going to be a bomb coming to your house? Can you imagine sleeping, wondering if you're going to wake up to see your father or your mother? Can you imagine ever thinking that you're going to wake up to see the next day? What if the, the bomb can land in my house? Can you imagine dwelling in that city? When God chooses you, it's not time to relax. But God told me this season, you're about to be picked out, selected. He will stand out. Are you hearing me? He will hide you. He will preserve you. The devil will show his true intentions against you. Don't worry. When God picked David, you expect David to sit on the throne. No, all hell broke loose over David. David was now running left and scared. What is going on with David? No, David was like, oh my goodness, what is going on? I should have just taken the food to, to my brothers and gone back home and just be free. 
Now, I thought my brothers hated me. But now, the king is not the one after me. What is going on? Even my dad cannot preserve me. Even my dad cannot help me. Hallelujah. So my dad now who sent me to go get food, I can't return home now. Why? I thought I'll be victorious. Oh, David, David, you are the one that brought Goliath. The, 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 the rejoice was very, very, very little. He, he was happy for just a few times. And before you know it, warfare after another. Wherever he's sleeping, he's watching. I hope so he's not here. I hope so he's not here. I don't know how many of you have been there. When the Lord begins to exalt you, when the Lord is, has promoted you for every major victory, listen to him. The size of your enemy always determines the size of your breakthrough. Always determines the size of your anointing. Your anointing will tell based on the enemy that confronts you. Your anointing will always attract the enemy proportionate to your anointing. The enemy proportionate to your anointing. Hallelujah. So if you're dealing with a big size enemy, know that that's the kind of grace and glory that you carry. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We live in a such in a time now that the enemy is exercising complete rage against the sins of God. Whether you like it or not. When they declared king over Jesus, the angels were jubilating the heavens. In the book of Matthew, the Bible says, in the book of John, the Bible says the angels were singing, Hail the king. But that began another war that began this guy began to run for his life run to Egypt because now the king wants to kill him sometimes testimony will come we can rejoice it's, it might be temporary because the enemy doesn't want you to rejoice at all wants to kill that praise the praise of God hallelujah I want you to please find a time to really listen to this message when you have the time. Hallelujah. He specifically said to scatter Judah. Not Jerusalem. To scatter Judah. What are these four horns? To scatter Judah. The word Judah means praise. 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 Your testimony. Your joy. Your jubilation. That's what the enemy is after. For every elevation releases a new devils to silence you. Is it not the same God? Why is it God not stopping the enemies of Jerusalem? If you have chosen Jerusalem, so why are they raining bullets or rockets a day and night? It's to keep you on your toes. <laughs> this guy was taken in slavery. Can you imagine uh, Joseph in a little in, in, on the donkey and on the camel taken as a slave to... praise God praise God praise God well we got to round up the time is up here hallelujah well God bless everyone for dialing in I want to thank God again. thank you for the opportunity for coming to your homes today somebody is somebody blessed today somebody blessed today hallelujah well bless God praise God We'll definitely keep in touch again. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I bless God for everything that has happened. And the Lord continue to bless everyone. Anoint you with fresh fire. In Jesus' name. Please go to watch the broadcast. We pray for Jerusalem today. We pray for Jerusalem. And literally, we are seeing the Lord fulfilling prophecy in our lives. And so, please go ahead and watch it again. And also declare the peace of God upon your life and destiny. Amen. God bless you. Love you guys. Bye bye. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Each and every one of you. And Amen. have a blessed day. Amen. God bless you. Bye bye. Yeah, God bless you too. Amen. Amen. Bless you, man. Honor. Oh, bless you. Goodbye.
Hallelujah. Bless my people.